Today, talented technology services are focusing a lot on perceptual computing. Perceptual, the word itself has come from the word perception. Now, if you see perception, that is one of the key difference between what a machine does versus what a man do. Now, for a moment, let us understand what does this perception is all about. Where does it come from? Number one, it comes from past experience. Number two, it depends on the context in which a person has to take a particular decision. And number three, a situation. So now, if you have to have a perceptual computing, obviously machine will need to have these three elements. First and foremost, past experience. Where do we get our past experience from? One way is analytics. We at LNTTS are working a lot in terms of bridging or creating a bridge between analytics and artificial intelligence. And that will be the future of AI. The second part of it is the contextual awareness. Like for example, in the English language, the same sentence, if I talk in a different tone, it can mean differently. Now, how do I figure out this context from a machine point of view? So that's where the contextual part comes in. And the third part and most important part is the situational awareness. I may want to take a particular decision, but what situation I am on to, that governs my decision. Now, the contextual as well as situational, a lot depends on the type of data that I get in through data fusion, which helps me to take a decision. We are working a lot on security and surveillance. And I use the word security and surveillance as a topic because this is a place where we believe all these three elements of AI comes into a play. Imagine a situation where we are monitoring a particular installation and there is an abnormal activity. Maybe there is a terrorist. A terrorist is moving with a backpack. There are also tourists who are moving with the backpack. Now, how do we figure out? First and foremost thing, what were our past experience of those situations? What have we learnt out of it? Number two, from a contextual situation, have we tried to figure in how a tourist would move and how a terrorist would move? And situational, even if I have identified a particular person as a terrorist, am I able to do anything at that point of time? We are focusing a lot on developing algorithms on all these three aspects of AI. We are imbibing it into our security and surveillance platform and we believe that, uh, you know, this is where the future lies. Imagine this security and surveillance that we are talking about, we are bringing it on the drone. We at LNTTS have already developed a flight control system for drone. Now this is our next step, to take this security surveillance through camera base onto the drone. I am quite excited that we are in a time where there is a confluence of technology. We are working on the edge analytics, image fusion, artificial intelligence, uh, IoT. And by using all these things, we are able to solve a bigger problem for the humankind. Thanks a lot.